All right, in part two, we're going to use spring one again and the calculated k value, which we found in the last video, and we're going to try to determine the three unknown masses in grams. Okay, so we have three uh, unknown masses. There's a, a red mass, there's a yellow mass, and there's a, a green mass. And uh, if you remember, up above we had an equation, F, you know, Hooke's Law is F equals kd. We're trying to figure out the masses. So the force that we're going to put on there is the weight, so it would be mass times gravity equals kd. And then, of course, the mass um, should equal uh, kd divided by gravity. Now, this mass here, this equation, this mass would be in kilograms, and we actually want it to be in grams. Um, so if this is in kilograms, we're going to have to actually multiply right here times 1000 and that'll put that in grams. So here's the equation we want. So um, if we're going to try to find the masses in grams of each of these, um, and we're going to put each mass on the spring and we're going to get a displacement in meters. We'll make sure we put that in meters. Okay, so um, here's going to be our displacements and we want to write an equation here for mass. So it should be, you start with the equal sign. Um, we want to get the k value, and the k value is right up here. So we're going to click on that, but the thing is we're going to drag this equation down later. Um, that means we want this k value every time. We don't want this to drag down, so we need to actually put dollar signs here. Dollar sign D, um, dollar sign 11. Technically we don't need the dollar sign on the row because we're going to drag it down, but it's always good to put them on both so that way it, we know it's going to be a static cell. So there's our k, and uh, we're going to take that times um, whatever this displacement is here, and then we're going to take that times 1,000, and then we're going to uh, divide that by 9.81, and we'll get a mass. Of course, now the displacement is zero, so the mass will be zero. We're going to go ahead and drag that equation down, so we have a, basically a program to calculate our mass as long as we can get our displacements. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to grab the red mass. I'm going to put it on here and see how far down it goes. Looks like it goes to 30 point maybe 6. So in for this displacement I'm going to put 0 0.306 and the mass of the red looks like it's around 307 grams. Okay, uh, the yellow one Yellow goes down to 15, maybe 16. So 0.16, 160 grams. And the green one, five, six, seven, looks like about seven. So 0.07. And that looks like it's around 70 grams. So we calculated all the masses of the unknowns by using uh, this equation right here and just figuring out how far down it pulled it. Hope that makes sense. That's the end of part two.